Welcome back to the AB Scout Project. I'm Krager, and this is Alpha Bravo. And today we're going to look at the Tyrannicon Rex and Autobot JP3 2 pack, the new latest crossover with Jurassic Park and Transformers. So let's go ahead and move Alpha Bravo out of the way. Take a look at this box. All right, so you have the, the whole diorama scene inside. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little overturned Jeep in there that Tyrannicon is marching over. And this, of course, you know. Homage is another Jurassic Park set. So, but it's still really good. On the top, you kind of see the, the gates of Jurassic Park. I'll move my light out of the way so you can actually see it. And that's really neat. Come on this side. Danger. Stuff on the back. More voltage danger. And then descriptions. Pretty cool footprint, all really neat packaging. All right, let's go ahead and get these guys out and we'll take a look at them. Here they are out of the box in the full diorama. Got the overturned Jeep, like I was saying before, got the forest, night scene. It all looks really neat. All right, so let's take a look at the component parts. First, we'll look at Tyrannicon Rex. And it looks really neat. I mean, very much the T-Rex, as far as we know, looks like colors. I like the little striping on the back. I don't know if you can see that, but colorization looks really good. And this, of course, is based on the Kingdom Megatron. So we'll bring him in. And you can see, move off and bravo out of the way that it's from here it's pretty much just a recolor you know everything is just recolored from the original purple barney dinosaur get him to stand so let's take a look at the robot mode all right here we have tyrannicon rex in her robot mode as you can see it's mostly all the same as the kingdom megatron here they just did a new head sculpt on it. Let's see if we can get a close up of that head sculpt. I mean, I like it. It's kind of a Grimlocky vibe. Yeah, but pretty neat. Again, the rest is just a recolor of the kingdom. See, it all, all works the same way. that's about it it's still a really good mold i still like this megatron mold i like the new head i think it really works as a new character next we got jp93 obviously that's jurassic park 93 when the original movie came out but this is based on the uh, ford explorer that they used in the movie looks really good the deco is really nice Looks very much like it. The hat comes with the uh, shotgun that can be mounted on top here. Let's see that. It's pretty much the same both sides. And just the mounts with this little peg here into two separate holes up there. Looks really good. As far as I can tell, this is a brand new mold. So that's pretty neat. I mean, it rolls pretty well. I mean, part of the transformation, you can kind of open the doors, but that's really part of the transformation. So let's go ahead and take a look at the robot mode. All right, here we have JP93 in his robot mode. And you see he's a pretty tall deluxe and he looks really neat. I had heard some complaints about some loose legs out of the package, but mine's pretty good. I could see running into some problem with these arms since they are just a ball joint there. I can see those wearing out pretty quick. Like you don't want to load a very large gun on him. But otherwise, looks really good. It does have all the modern posability. Nothing in the wrist though. You know, universal at the elbow. You know, everything in the arm. Head is on the ball joint. You know, everything is what you'd expect out of a modern one. It has the ankle tilt, 
in there. And it's kind of neat how they did that since this flap comes over in transformation to close out the truck mode and then flip. And that's what frees up the ankle tilt. I, th I thought that was pretty neat. Take a look at that head sculpt. Focus. And say so they gave him that safari hat that and tried to give him that Alan Grant with sunglasses look. Pretty nifty, you know, still got the Jurassic Park logo there. So really neat and definitely got all the branding you need on the door panels, the hood. It looks really good. I'm actually really happy with this one. So we'll kind of get some space here. Take a look at them side by side with Tyrannicon Rex. Still very imposing. I think these two look really good. They're really good crossover characters. I like the lifelike Tyrannosaurus and the brand new mold that they gave us since you know all the other crossover figures have been derived from another mold. But this one, brand new mold. I'll, I'll take that back. The uh, Top Gun Maverick was a brand new mold as well. But I'm pretty happy with this one. I don't have any loose joint problems that I've heard some complaints about. So my copies, I'm really happy with it. So overall, like I already said, I'm, I'm really happy with the set. Looks good. Uh, good figures out of the package. I knew the Tyrannicon Rex was going to be good just because I love the Megatron mold. Overall, really great set. I think it's worth the money. And just to throw in and as an extra, I got this last night when I went to see Ghostbusters Afterlife. A really good movie. Go out, see it. It's well worth it. Uh, this is exclusive at the AMC theaters. This is supposed to be a popcorn bucket. We'll open it up. Comes with a little top protector. But when you look at this guy, this was definitely a lot more than I was expecting when they said, you know, here's a popcorn bucket. Of course, it wasn't free. You had to pay like 38 bucks for it, but it looks really nice. I think they went above and beyond for a popcorn container. So, you know, no rolling wheels. You know, you don't want your food rolling off. And everything pops into here. That opens up. You're supposed to put your popcorn in there, but don't put popcorn in there. Uh, you take a look at the inside here and you see all the nooks and crannies for the molding and you see, yeah, you'll never get that clean. So get it. It's really neat. Go watch the movie. I mean, you can put, you know, some figures in there driving, you know, kind of, sort of, but otherwise really neat souvenir going out to the movies. And like I said, I went in and saw it last night really great movie go check it out so that's jump from one movie to another but thanks for joining us today on the ab scout project if there's a character you'd like to see put your request in the comments below please like share subscribe leave a comment go see ghostbusters afterlife and i'll see y'all later